In the last video, I showed you the custom firmware I've been running on the Snapmaker U1. And since then, things have moved pretty fast. Today's video is mainly about one new feature that has been added to the firmware, which is custom NFC tag support. This means you're no longer limited to proprietary NFC tags. You can use inexpensive tags from AliExpress or Amazon, write them with your Android phone, and the printer will recognize them automatically. Nine, six, nine. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'll also be doing a deeper dive into the external USB camera feature I introduced in the previous video. That feature itself isn't new, but we've spent more time testing it and refining it. And I want to show you how to get the best results using Fluid. Before we go any further, there is one important thing I want to clarify. The version of the custom firmware you're about to see in this video is still in the testing phase. It's not publicly released yet. What I'm showing you today is essentially a preview of what's coming. The goal here is to demonstrate the direction that this firmware is heading and the kind of functionality that will be available once it's ready for public release. A public release is planned for the near future, but for now, this is very much a work in progress. Quick recap for anyone who missed the last video. This Snapmaker U1 is running a custom firmware that opens up functionality far beyond the stock experience. We're taking deeper control, better integration with clipper-based tooling and features that make sense for a machine like this especially considering it's a tool changer. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'd recommend checking it out after this one. But today, we're focusing strictly on what's new. The biggest update in this release is custom NFC tag read capability. Until now, NFC support on printers has usually meant locked down vendor specific tags. With this firmware, that limitation is gone. You can now buy generic NFC tags from AliExpress or Amazon, use an Android phone with NFC support, write filament data directly to the tag, load it into the Snapmaker U1 and have it automatically detected. Once the filament is loaded, the printer instantly shows filament type, color, brand. No manual input required. At first glance, this might not sound like a massive feature, but it becomes extremely important once you actually start using the printer. Every time you change filament, you normally have to tell the printer what you just loaded. On something like a bamboo printer, that hasn't been really an issue for me. Mainly because I don't swap filaments that often. But the Snapmaker U1 is a tool changer. And filament changes are basically inevitable. Different tools, different materials, different colors. It adds up fast. With NFC tags, you load the filament, the printer reads the tag, everything is set automatically. That reduction in friction makes a huge difference in day-to-day -day use, especially once you start running more complex jobs. The second part of this video is an update on the external camera feature I showed in the last video. We've been testing it extensively, and I'm happy to say it works exactly as intended. The firmware automatically detects an external USB camera as soon as it's plugged in. There is no complicated setup on the firmware side. All you need to do is configure it correctly in the Fluid UI. On the screen right now, 
you'll see the exact camera settings I'm using in Fluid. To get the best video feed, add a new camera in Fluid. Apply these settings exactly as shown on the screen. Once configured, the video feed is stable, responsive and perfect for monitoring prints remotely. Before wrapping up, I also want to mention that if you appreciate the work going into this custom firmware and the tools around it, you can support the community directly. You can always buy packs a coffee. The link will be in the video description. Support like this keeps development moving forward and makes features like custom NFC support possible in the first place. Between custom NFC filament tags and a reliable external camera setup, the Snapmaker U1 custom firmware is becoming something genuinely powerful. The NFC feature in particular might seem small at first, but on a tool changer, it's a massive quality of life improvement. If you're interested in seeing more development updates, deeper technical breakdowns of future features, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!